Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. Charlie is back for those of you who missed him. This week we are going to be showing you the build and delivery for a River Rock dining table in Figured Maple. We're also going to do a Clara Walnut extension table that has leaves that go on the end. So that's the first time we've ever done something like that. And we also had about $75,000 worth of Live Edge wood show up at our shop. Uh, charcuterie boards, dining table slabs, coffee table slabs, a whole bunch of stuff. So. I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Charlie really wanted me to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe uh, because he actually gets a treat every time that you guys do any of that. Uh, he gets a treat. So if you care about Charlie, do those things, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we're also doing two pours here. This one is going to get a base layer today for River Rocks on that one. And the other one is a Claro Walnut piece, which is getting Caribbean Blue epoxy in it. Base pour commence. So when we do one of our river rock pours, the first thing that we have to do is put a base layer down. And we still use our deep resin for that, but we only pour it, you know, between half an inch to maybe an inch thick at the most. And we also don't let it fully cure before we, we add our rocks in after. So we pour this first layer in and we leave it for maybe two to three days just so that it's, it's soft to the touch, but it's not sticking to your finger. At that point, we can then place our rocks in without worrying about them like sinking in too far and touching the bottom of our table. And after the rocks are in, obviously we put in our final layer. Uh, the, the biggest purpose though of this base layer is just to protect our cutters when we surface that bottom side of the table. We have had some bad experiences with that where we have went through and hit rocks and we've even had to cut rocks with a track saw. Um, so we'll, we'll put a little link on the screen right now so you guys can go watch that and see how that turns out. Now this is another dining table that we're working on. This one's a little bit different than what we've done before in that it has some leaf extensions on there. So we pour the table all as one in its full extended size and then after it's cured we're actually going to cut those ends off. Uh, and we'll show kind of our extension process later in the video but I do want to give a shout out to Blacktail Studio uh, because he is the one that we learned this method for the extensions on. This pour here that we're doing, this as you can see in the background, we actually did it on the same day as our base layer. So we will, we will leave these to sit and now it's about I think between three and five around there days later. Uh, that we're doing this second layer. If you do end up going too long uh, with your base layer, you can actually sand it. Uh, so if it does get too hard, just sand it and that'll give you the same effect. And we've pretty much covered this whole bottom surface in rocks and now we're casting again with our Black Forest Deep Resin. Another thing you'll see on the edge of the screen is that we haven't went tight to the outside of the mold with the rocks. That's so when we go to size this table, we can cut them off uh, again without having to cut through any rocks. And then for the River Rock table, it actually happened to be a local client, so we got the pleasure of going to deliver this one. Um, so we just got everything in the back of the truck here. Uh, Spencer actually was transported in the truck with the table just to keep it safe during the journey. Uh, and the, these River Rock tables, one thing about them is they're always much heavier than you'd expect them to be because they're just packed with rocks. So even though this is only about a seven foot table, it feels like a 10 or a 12 foot table as Sagar runs around to, to grab the other side.
So now we head back to the shop and we're just putting the finishing touches on our extension table with the leafs in it. So all that we've done here to, to accomplish this is use threaded inserts and aluminum T-slot. So we've drilled some holes in the top of the aluminum T-slot so that we can actually put a threaded insert through it and into the insert that's in the table. So Ben's just drilling out for those right now and installing them. So these are the Rampa inserts and we do sell them on our website so we'll put a link in the description below. And those are the same Rampa bolts so you can see how he's just leaving the head sticking out a little bit and now that T-slot in the groove in the bottom slides right over those inserts as you can see. And then there's holes in the top of the T-slot the that we can tighten those inserts and secure this T-slot in place. And then we've got the same matching thing going on on the other end on the actual extension that can just slide into those T-slots as well and secure everything. And a lot of you probably already know, but we might get asked, uh, the finish on this piece is our Black Forest Furniture Oil topped off with our Black Forest Ceramics. And here you go, you get to see that function of the T-slot. And he's gonna put it back on now. Now obviously when the extensions aren't in use, you just loosen those T-slots off and put those in storage as well. But really nice way to add some extension to your resin river table. All right, everyone. So we're just getting our photos done of this Clara Walnut dining table with uh, leaf extensions on it. So this is actually the first table that we've ever done uh, with the leaf extensions. And I got to give a shout out to Blacktail Studio because he is the person that we got the idea from for this hardware style of how we've attached these leaves on. So it's just this... Uh, channel and then we've got threaded inserts that kind of slide in so you can loosen those off pull the leaves on put them or pull the leaves off put them back on whatever you want to do and then we've got solid steel legs from forge 53 I got a bit of an angle in them as you guys can see but overall this piece turned out awesome so they can have their big setup for larger gatherings their smaller ones for other gatherings um, but yeah very excited to get this to the client and hopefully we'll get some photos in place and then right over here just as we're doing this, we have this giant truckload of material that showed up from our supplier out in Ontario. So there's charcuterie stock, there's cookies, there's table stock, there's coffee table stock. Uh, pretty much a big mix of mostly walnut in here that we're very excited to, to see what we got.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that we had going on at the shop this week. A uh, little bit of a random video. We had a few different things in there, but we're still working on that big Maple Burl furniture package. So we want to wait till we have a little bit more progress to post again about that. And if you guys want to win an art piece from the offcuts of that job, go check out last week's video. All we ask you to do is guess the price of the furniture package we're making. And whoever gets the closest wins a piece of wall art from that. So again, go check that out. Leave your guesses. I hope you guys win. And next week, I guess I'll give a teaser if you've watched all the way to the end. Uh, we've got a pivot door coming up, a giant walnut pivot door. So start your comment with the word pivot and we will know you watched until the end and we'll be sure to respond to you guys. So thank you for watching to the end and we will see you next week. Please sit down, speak, 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 up, up, up. Good boy, good boy, Charlie. Oh!